Today we're making brats. More specifically, we are making the brats that are typical for the Nuremberg region in southern Germany. It's by far the easiest sausage you can make. You don't even need a food processor. This is an all pork sausage. The best way to do this is to grind your own meat. You cut the meat into grinder sized bits and then you add all the spices and essentially marinate it for an hour or two in the fridge, bring it down to almost frozen and then you run it through your food grinder. The second way is to have pre-ground meat like I do here and then you just skip the marinating step. There's a fair amount of fat in here. You want about 30% fat in this. This is a shoulder cut, 600 grams. It's a bit more than a pound of shoulder cut and 400 grams of pork belly, which should have at least 50% fat. You do not even need a food processor for this because this is essentially just hand massaged and that's it. What you need is gloves because this goes best by hand. You could put it in the KitchenAid and run it there, but hand is much easier to clean afterwards. Here we go. So there is my meat. I'm just adding all my spices. You can find the amounts down in the description. There's my salt. These sausages have a lot of margarine. Then there's some allspice, some mace, and a mix of black and white pepper. And that's already pretty much it. So you have the ground meat, you have the spices, and all you do now is mix this thoroughly and massage it a little. And that will give your sausages some cohesion. We're just going to do this for a few minutes and essentially just mash it through with your hands. And since this is a sausage that's cooked raw, we don't even have to cook it. So all we are going to do is put this into casings and then we're already done. As I said, this is the quickest sausage recipe you'll ever see. Okay, I think this is it. It's looking good. Now all we have to do is put them into casings. Fill this into your sausage stuffer. This recipe probably really requires a sausage stuffer because these sausages are fairly thin. So if you ever go to Nuremberg, these sausages are very small. They come in two shapes. They either make them as a large coil or they make them about the size of a finger. So it's a pretty small bratwurst. Traditionally, you would get this with a potato mash or you would just get it as three of those little sausages in a bun. For small sausages like this, I'm always priming and then I'm using a little bit of it essentially as grease so that my, my casing is sliding over it nicely. So here is a sheep's casing on it and all you do is just fill it. Careful, do not overfill this because once you twist them into the individual links, um, you don't want this too full, otherwise it ruptures. Of course, you don't want any air in it. If you have like what I'm having now, you can use a needle or something that, and poke a fine hole into the casing so that the air can come out. Okay, that's the end of it. Tie this off with a little knot. You could coil them up. See, you could go make a coil now. Use a long skewer and that would be the coiled version. Or you just go ahead and do like, I don't know, about like this much. You twist them and the next link you twist in the other direction. Hmm, this is just going to be a little bit a longer one. Oh. Now my casing broke, but that's not the end of the world. Just squeeze some out, twist and keep going. And this one is going to get a bit of a short one. See, problem solved. Now what you do with these sausages is you give them two or three teeny weeny pokes with a needle. I have these uh, potato peeler forks. So they are very pointy and very thin because essentially what why you're poking them is uh, that they do not burst when you grill them. 
And there is Bradwurst as is typical in Nuremberg. A word for storage. These things will last a few days in the fridge. It's raw meat. You can of course cook them and eat them cooked. If you would boil them at like 170 degrees so that they are fully cooked, then they will last longer or you can just freeze them. I'm gonna fry one up and see how they taste. Oh, they're roasting up beautiful. When I look at them, I think they need a little more twisting. See? Oh, that's okay. Some mustard to go. And now let's see how they are. Mm. Excellent. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.